<laughs> and if you're in any doubt, triple cooked chips, they can be a pain in the... So what are we actually cooking today? Triple cooked chips, but not just any triple cooked chip because these triple cooked chips are actually achievable for us mere mortals at home. These are the ultimate home cooked, triple cooked, oven ready, frozen chips you will ever eat in your life. Now, first up, let's get the potatoes peeled and straight into a pan of cold water. I'm using a separate potato, but you can use any variety that works for frying. And as the varieties differ in different countries, I'd advise having a word with your local greengrocer to find out what's best for you. Next up, we're cutting the potatoes. Now we want that lovely, soft, creamy, pillowy interior on the potato. So don't be cutting any small string fries. We want a nice, big, chunky, fat chip. So read the potato, work out how many chips you're gonna get out of it. Don't trim any bits off and throw them away. Use all of the potato. Next up, we need to give the potatoes a thorough washing under cold running water. And we're doing this to remove all of the excess surface starch, which is gonna help us obtain a really crispy exterior on the potato. You need to do this until the water runs clear. I'm gonna cook these in two batches. It's important you don't overcrowd the pan. As the potatoes simmer, they need to freely move around the pot. Otherwise, they're just gonna get crushed and fall apart. Now, you need to bring the potatoes up to a boil and then reduce to a simmer and cook them just long enough until the potatoes almost falling apart. Now listen carefully. You're gonna need to be really, really careful here. If you've cooked the potatoes until they're almost falling apart, then be as gentle as you can. Lift them out of the water. Don't dump them straight into a colander. Put them on something like a wire rack and we're gonna leave them here until all of the steam has evaporated off of the potatoes. The oil is going to penetrate all of those rough edges and that's what's gonna give us the ultra crisp crust. I'm using vegetable oil to fry the chips and don't throw the oil away afterwards. Strain it off and keep it for the next time. You can use this several times. Heat the oil to 140 degrees Celsius, that's 285 degrees Fahrenheit, and cook the chips in small batches. The potatoes need to be cooked until they've got a crispy outer crust, but no color whatsoever and then straight onto a wire rack to cool down and continue with the other potatoes until they're all cooked just like this. Straight into the freezer on the wire rack and then as soon as they're frozen you can bag them up. When you're ready to cook them out of the freezer onto a plate to defrost, preheat the oven 220 degrees Celsius 430 degrees Fahrenheit. I will leave details in the video description about cooking these from frozen. Make sure your pan or your baking tray is preheated. Add a couple of tablespoons of veg oil to it and then put your chips in there and just give them a good shake about to make sure they're all covered with the vegetable oil and then straight into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. And when they're golden and crispy, they are done. And this is the best time to season them with some sea salt. So time to try the humble chip. Oh yes, look at that. Chris Baslick. Oh. Mmm. Oh. These are brilliant. Crispy on the outside, but inside you've still got that pillowy soft potato interior. So I reckon the chip butty is a sure way to test the chip. Mmm. Mmm. The chips are really good. They are so crispy. And even between two bits of bread that's been slathered with butter, they stay crispy, but still the best bit's the inside. You've still got that lovely pillowy soft potato finish. It's beautiful. Mmm. 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 
Thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna finish this. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It really does help. See you soon.